Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mel here. Thanks for checking back in. Today's video, I am gonna do a wear test and a foundation review of the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Light Airbrush Finish Foundation. I'm starting to do a series on my channel of doing wear tests and reviews of all the foundations I own for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe down below to see more beauty videos by me, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna read a little bit about the foundation. I, this is pretty new at the drugstore. 24 hour wear, transfer resistant, SPF 18. It's a liquid foundation. It says lightweight, natural full coverage, foundation, non-caking, non-drying. Sweat proof, humidity proof, covers imperfections, evens out skin tone for poreless looking skin, feels comfortable and breathable on skin. <laughs> this is also a cruelty free product, which I love. I picked up the color 855 Soft Honey. I did self tan recently, so hopefully it'll be a good match. Okay, so I just found it online. It is not available at Ulta, but I did find it on the Target. On the website, it goes for $11.29, which is not a bad price for a foundation from the drugstore. They are getting a little more pricier, but that is not bad. You get one fluid ounce. Packaging is pretty generic for drugstore packaging, glass bottle. I do kind of like the red cap. I think that's like a cute little touch. So let's just get into it. Let me put my hair up. So now that I do currently have drier skin, I used to have really oily skin and then I went on some skin treatments for my acne by my dermatologist. So now I'm pretty dry. I already have my moisturizers on and my vitamin C serum. Already let them sit in for a while, but I'm still gonna prep my skin because this is a matte foundation. So one side of my face, I am gonna put like primers and my glowy stuff in the other side. I'll just let you guys see the actual foundation on its own. So I am gonna prep my skin a little bit more with some hydration. I am gonna use my primers that I love. So I'm gonna go in with a pore filling primer just because my skin is so dry and this is a matte foundation, I believe. It's supposed to be non-drying and non-caking, but just to be safe, I am gonna put a little bit of glow on the outside of my face just for a little extra hydration. Maybe I'll just do it on the one side of my face. That way you can see, yeah. That way you can see how it goes without the glowiness and we can compare, you know, fun stuff. One side of my face, I am gonna use a sponge. The other side, I am gonna use a foundation brush. I typically tend to like using a sponge, but sometimes it depends on the foundation. Let's do a brush on the right side and sponge on the left. Let's see, okay, there it is on my hand, pretty liquidy. <laughs> Let's go in, okay, that's gonna be a decent match. Let's see, so I just put one pump on my hand. Wow, it's pretty full coverage. This part of my face and product never stays on, it's so bizarre. All right, so one pump with the brush pretty much covered half my face. Okay, that's pretty smoothing. I think that looks pretty good. It still has a nice glow through it, but I don't know if that's the foundation or glowy stuff I put on. So let's try the other side. And this side I'm gonna do damp sponge. Blends out pretty nice. Okay, I feel like the sponge definitely soaked up a lot more than the brush, but that's to be expected. So I just need a little bit more. Still a little dark for me. Even lightly self-tan, but not, not too off. The side, they both actually, this has a nice, even though I didn't put the glowy stuff underneath, it still has a nice sheen coming through. This side, I feel like I actually like this side a little bit better. I feel like I definitely got more coverage on the brush side. I do like that glow coming through, but that's definitely those glowy products. There's still some glow coming through 
here a little bit, but not too much in here. Everything looks pretty smooth. It really looks good so far. Okay, so I think it looks good so far. I feel like this side, I wanna build up my cheek just a little bit more with my sponge. The brush side looks pretty good. I feel like this side just needs a little more coverage in here. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face makeup and then I'll be back and I'll do a few check-ins throughout the day. Right now it is pretty late. <laughs> I got a late start to today. So right now it's almost three o'clock. I will check in maybe in an hour or two and then I'll check in later tonight and let you guys know how it's wearing, what I think. So far, so good. I definitely like the coverage. I'm a full coverage gal. The color's not bad. I think it'll be a good color in the summer. It's pretty smoothing. It definitely, you know, covered a good amount. Nothing's accentuated. It's not really, you know, going in my fine line. So, so far, so good. So I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Finished up doing my makeup. Um, yeah, so, so far I really like this foundation. It's a nice, it feels very comfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy or dry, just like it claims. It looks pretty smooth. Everything blended pretty good. My forehead got a little weird when I went to blend my bronzer, but I think it was just the bronzer, cream bronzer that I use. It can get patchy, so I think it was that and not the foundation because everything else blended pretty good. This is the brush side and this is the sponge side. Let me actually zoom in and show you in close up. So, looks very pretty, very pretty. I really like it. I'm excited to see if it does not have any transfer. That would be awesome because I hate transfer. <laughs> Both look pretty similar. I did have to build the sponge side up just because usually with the sponge it shears things out anyways. But I really like how smooth it is. It's not super matte, but it's not, it's a natural finish like it claims. I think it looks really pretty. I'm excited to see how it wears through the day. It feels very comfortable. Honestly, I didn't get any dry patches. I always set my face with setting spray no matter what foundation I'm using. So I did set it with some setting spray and yeah, we'll see how it wears. It applied very well, decent price. You can find it at the drugstore, good coverage. It's comfortable. So right now it is 337. I will check back in with you guys as the day goes on to show you how it's wearing, what I think and all the jazz. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. It is now 7.10. So pretty much I just went out to dinner, had a few drinks, ate a good meal. Now I'm back. Wanted to check in. It's been a few hours. My foundation still looks so good. It really, really looks good. It's not settling in any lines. Like usually my forehead foundation will settle in my wrinkles up there. It still looks so good. It looks really smooth. And what I think what I like most about my skin isn't getting drier over time. Some foundations, my skin will just get crustier and drier as the day goes on. In my dry spots around my nose and on my chin and in between my eyebrows still look really good. They don't look dry at all. I actually have some natural glow coming through, which is really rare for me since I have dry skin. That is really good. I will have to say some of my bronzer is coming off my forehead, but that's because I touch my hair like this all the time to get it out of my face. Um, but so far it's looking really good. It's so comfortable. I don't feel like I'm wearing heavy foundation on my skin. It feels really good. Honestly, it's pretty comfortable and undetectable. Full coverage long wear foundation. That is like amazing. I love it so far, so good. So the next time I check in will probably be one more time. So it's about 7.10 right now. So probably 10.30 I'll check in. So that really, so really that'd only be me wearing it seven hours. So sorry, it's not super long, but already going four hours and my makeup looks so good is a pretty good sign that it's gonna last even longer. For someone who has dry skin, this is amazing to get something that's matte, full coverage. Well, it's not matte, it's more like a natural finish, full coverage, long wear. I love it. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. It's pretty late. It is 10.55 and I just wanna do a final check-in. It still looks really good. A bunch 
has worn off just because I was laying down and getting sleepy, but a lot kind of rubbed off on my forehead, but that's to be expected after a long day. It still looks really good around my face. No dry patches. It's getting a little dry here, but it's been like eight hours, so that's not too bad. So overall, I think the foundation is great. If you have dry skin, I think you could really prep your skin and you would still really enjoy this. If you have oily skin, I think you would still like it too. I'm not sure though because I don't have oily skin anymore, but overall for the price point and drugstore, I think it's a great foundation. Does it last 24 hours? I don't know. I only had eight hours today, sorry. But it does last a very long time. It wears so well. It's so pretty and I think it's a great foundation. Thanks again guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe down below if you want to see more beauty videos by me. I will be doing more foundation review videos coming up. So stay tuned and thanks so much for watching. Bye!